What you'll need is cardboard or a cardboard box, masking tape, pencil, box cutter, scissors, a ruler, a scalpel, black paint and brush, that's optional, you don't have to paint the theatre, but it makes it look fun, tissue paper, the puppet template, or make your own up, and extra cardboard. First, let's make the theatre. The most important proportions are those in the centre. That's about an A3 size paper, 30 by 40 centimetres approximately. This is the inside of the puppet theatre. I've made a box platform and this is almost like the stage. The puppets will rest upon that when they're not in motion. I've cut an extra piece of decorative cardboard to make the theatre look a little bit old fashioned. Voila! Here it is all painted. You don't have to paint it, but it does add to the effect. Now we need to put in the white screen. I had tissue paper that had lots of creases, so I've ironed it with a dry iron. Then I've masking taped it to the inside of the theatre. Now for the puppets. A link in the comments section of the video will send you to the templates for the puppets. I've printed the puppets onto heavy cardstock, or you can print it onto A4 paper and then glue it to cardstock. Cut out all the puppets using a scalpel for the delicate bits. Once you've cut out the silhouettes, fold the bases at a right angle to the puppet. Take the extra cardboard and cut it into strips. These are about one centimetre each. You'll use that to stick to the base of the shadow puppet. You may notice that the wolf in the templates has an unusual thing where the jaw is detached. This is so we can make the jaw of the wolf move. A split pin is used to join the jaw and the wolf. Then you take another strip of cardboard and attach it with masking tape to the jaw. This will be perfect for the line, I'll huff and I'll puff. So now we're all prepared. To make the most effective puppet theatre, set it up in a darkened room with a lamp behind you. Enjoy. This is the story of the three little pigs. Share your stories with us. Post them on social media using the hashtag virtual insight. Or even share your bloopers. <laughs> My cat didn't like the wolf very much. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your 